Okay, this uh, is a quick video, hopefully it's quick, um, in showing you how to put a texture map and animate the texture map um, or animate the UVs to run over the texture map. And basically this is just creating a waterfall, I was asked by a subscriber how to do this, so here we go. So all I've done here is just created a flat polygon, um, this is going to be the water running over the side of the waterfall and then down here I'm basically going to put a texture map over the top. Uh, which is going to run through this and loop. So just get it to this stage, um, apply a shader to it. Um, I've used just a body shader there, but you could use whatever you like. I'm going to lighten that up. Now the first thing we need to do is apply the um, mapping to it. So we're going to come over to create UVs, go to planar mapping and we want it on the y-axis obviously you need to be looking down um, keep image width ratio and we're just going to project that straight in i'm now going to come on to the top view and pull this right in so we get it quite accurate and that'll do for now Okay, now I'm going to go to Windows and go into UV Texture Editor and we'll see how that's, let me just reduce that down a bit so you can see it in here. So we're just going to zoom out a bit here. And what I want to basically do is now put on um, onto this texture, I want to put a checker map. I go over, select my checker map on there. It's not so bad, but you can see we've got one continuous one there, so it's going to stretch. So what we need to do is get the the image plane there to be bent at like 35 degrees or something like that. I'm just going to while we're here though, I'm just going to go and correct a few of these little pieces. Come in here into the place um, texture and just up the amount to 40 the feet on the UV. Maybe, just, maybe that's a bit much actually. Let's just do 10. That's a bit better. And now straight away I can see a problem that I've got here. So I'm coming back into the texture editor, selecting my UVs. So right click and then select the UVs then I'm going to press the R key for scale and I just want to scale this down so that these appear square which they do now so that's okay so I know I've got the right width there I'm only using this for a reference I'm going to be putting the image in over the top I'll be scaling this down in a minute um, so now I just need to rotate the UVs projection and so we're going to do that um, on the Y I'm just going to make this 30 which has knocked it a bit that's a bit better odd he kind of opens it up so it's on that X but now you can see that so rotate negative 30 there now you can see it's a little bit better these are kind of going like a square now but it's being projected at a slight angle there let's try 45 well that's even better because 45 degrees on that which has given me a much better look I'm just going to bring these in a bit to make sure. So that's pretty good. That is pretty tight. I'm going to clean up. I'm just going to clean up the um, the map. 
back here, go to te text, hardware text view, and go to highest. There we go, nice clean square. So that's pretty good. So we're ready now to map this out. So what I'm going to do now is I don't need the texture map in there, but I'm going to get this, selecting all the UVs. I'm now going to scale this right down. Right down. And I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom. You have to zoom in to put it right at the bottom. Do that. And what we're going to actually do here is we're going to get our UVs to slip like this. So you can see what's happening there. And we're going to animate that process. So okay, we're ready there. I'm now going to adjust, uh, do a UV snapshot. Um, for now, I'm just going to put it on my desktop, I think. And I'll save it as water. Save it there as a TIFF. Also my size, I've got it a 2K map, 2048. You could have it, even have it more if you want to capture more detail. Um, leave the rest the same, just image format is a TIFF. Okay, so we've done that. Now we need to open this up in Photoshop and apply it. So um, I'm gonna carry on this on another video.